Name ist Ivan Garev, ich bin einer der Gründer von Drapalin. Wir zeigen euch, wie medizinische Cannabis-Extrakte in höchster Qualität hergestellt werden. Kommt mit! Wir lassen uns heute von den Experten vor Ort zeigen, wie die Herstellung von Extrakten abläuft. Bevor wir das Labor betreten dürfen, müssen wir GMP-konforme Schutzkleidung anlegen, um jegliche Kontamination zu vermeiden. My name is Marina Galeva. I'm head of production and I'm a specialist in pharmaceutical technology. Uh, together me and uh, with my colleague uh, Dian Krastevski, who is head of extraction, uh, you will be our guest and we will lead you through our production site. Mother rooms and uh, transplanting. My name is Angel. I'm uh, here coordinator of the cultivation. From the mother plants we're getting the clone, we're cloning them and uh, the process of cloning are uh, 14 days. After that we transplant the, the clones to, to uh, hardening. There we keep the plants for seven days and after that they are going in vegetation. In vegetation the plants stay from 11 to 15 days, depends to the, to the strain. After that process we are going to flowering to the final stage and uh, here the plants stay for from 44 uh, to 46 days. After the finish of the flowering stage we, we harvest the plants and uh, going to the precondition room. There we keep the plants for uh, five days and here in this room we cut the branches from the plants and after that they are going to harvesting room. In the harvesting room we, uh, we cut the flowers from the branches and After that are coming the transfer. So the processes that are starting in production are starting in this room. Uh, this is the pass box and this is our connection with the cultivation uh, area. We receive the wet mass through this pass box. And we are starting with our first process here. It's measurement of the wet mass that we are receiving from the cultivation. The next step in our production process is drying process. Yes, this is our drying room. It's a separate room and it's a separate uh, ventilation unit. After the drying process is finished and we collect the dry mass, mm -hmm. the next step that we are doing is the hand trimming of the flowers. During this process, We are obtaining dry flowers, which is main product, and we are producing two byproducts. It's trim and it's kif. Uh, the trim can be used for extraction. This is the extraction room. Inside that room we have the CO2 extract extraction machine and the dump of wood. For production of crude extract, uh, the first step is weighing of the starting material and then it's grinding. We use the uh, milling machine which is inside the dump of wood. Why it's inside the dump of wood? It's not to have material coming from that area to this area during grinding process. So with the grinding, we are reducing the particle size of the uh, material. Uh, in order to have a more efficient extraction and to have a better yield and efficiency, but also uh, to put more material inside of the canisters because of the bulk density as well. It can either be dry mass, which is untrimmed material, it can be either trimmed material, which is the flowers, or it can be either trim, which we use as starting material for the extraction process. After which we do decarboxylation, and after the decarboxylation, we load the material inside of the extraction machine. Decarboxylation is a chemical uh, process, chemical reaction, where the acidic form of uh, the cannabinoid, THCA, for example, transforms into THC and uh, CO2 is released in the, uh, in the atmosphere. Here, uh, we use uh, CO2 in a liquid form, firstly. Supercritical CO2 is between liquid and gas, so it helps to penetrate the material better and to draw to dissolve the components specifically. So the CO2, the supercritical CO2 enters from below, it goes inside of the material, so we have uh, this extraction vessel and we have an extraction canister inside where we have our decarboxylated material which has been previously grinded. So supercritical CO2 enters, penetrates through the material, the grinded material, it dissolves the, the material, so it acts like a solvent for example, And uh, so the CO2 together with the components goes through separators. So we have two gravimetrics and two sequonic separators. We have specific parameters inside of the uh, gravimetric separator 
and the whole material is collected here as a full spectrum. So together with cannabinoids, terpenes, waxes, everything is collected here. And then the CO2 goes to uh, gas, so it exits the material. As a gas, it reaches this separator, which is cooled down, and it goes back to, back to liquid through a chiller, through a filter, and it recirculates. So inside, we reach uh, almost 96 to 98% efficiency. It means how much THC is in the biomass, in the starting material, and how much we can extract from it. Because we also do analysis of the starting material, of the crude extract which we obtain, and we also do analysis of the material which is left over inside of the canisters to see how much THC is actually extracted. Uh, in the previous phase, uh, then explained to you the production of crude extract. In this kind of product, uh, we are having uh, THC content around uh, 60 to 65 per percentage of THC. But this product is not uh, purified. Uh, still in this product, we are having lipids and vasex. With the next steps of production, we are doing the purification of the crude extract and we are obtaining the refined extract. In the refined extract, at the end, we are having around 70 to 75 percentage of uh, THC. To obtain refined extract, we have three phases. The first phase is uh, mixing, homogenization of the crude extract with the ethanol. After that, we are having cooling on the very low temperature, minus uh, minus 35 percentage, where the precipitation and the filtration of the vasex and the lipids are done. After that, we have evaporation to remove the ethanol from the refined extract, and in the end, to obtain purified refined extract, which we are using for starting material of production standardized extract. So inside of the stainless steel canisters, uh, first we put initially 80% of the total ethanol, which is calculated. Then we put the crude extract, after which we measure the gross weight and the empty uh, bottle, the tire weight of the bottle, to see how much we actually crude extract we put inside of the canisters. And then we calculate how much remaining ethanol we must put inside of the canister in order to reach the 110 ratio. Uh, this is the equipment that we are using for removing the ethanol from the ethanolic solution produced from the previous phase. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> This is the whip film molecular distillation unit. Uh, we have two-step distillation. Uh, the in the first step, we remove all the light components, and on the second step, we remove the heavy tar components. In order to obtain distillate, which is more pure in form, approximately 85% THC. So uh, we are loading refined extract inside of the filling flask. We have a evaporator, and we have a condenser. So after the two-step distillation unit, we obtain a bright yellow, very clear, more pure, concentrated extract. Uh, on this room and on this equipment, we are doing the preparation of standardized extract. Here, as starting material, we are using the refined extract from uh, strain M runs. Once we finish with the production of standardized extract, uh, we have also here defined temperature, defined uh, mixing speed, for example, um, after that, quality control are taking samples from the bulk product, and uh, they are doing the analysis of the bulk solution. When they release the product after obtaining the analysis, analysis we are starting with uh, uh, filling the product in the bottles. Was wir gesehen haben, ist pharmazeutische Präzision in jedem Schritt. Nordmazedonien spielt längst vorne mit als Produktionsstandort für medizinisches Cannabis auf höchstem Niveau. Guten Morgen aus Mazedonien. Ich hoffe, die Reise hat euch gefallen. Wir werden noch viele, viele weitere unternehmen. Damit ihr dabei seid, dann gerne abonnieren und liken natürlich. Also bis bald. Ciao, ciao.